closings are already rolling into WNY because of the expected weather that Joe just mentioned. Many schools have had several delays and snow days already this winter, and as WNY's Tanja Reiki learned, tonight's snow could put some schools in some slippery situations. Tanja? Jen and Daryl, school districts plan ahead and build snow days into their calendars, but this winter has been particularly harsh. That's causing some schools to look into a plan B. It's been a long and frigid winter, to say the least, and we're only about halfway through. It's either freezing cold or um, we're dealing with road conditions um, and snow. Every school district builds a specific number of snow days into their calendar to minimize the effect on students' education. In Watkins Glen, they've used two snow days, and Superintendent Tom Phillips says it's likely they'll use a third tomorrow. The reality is um, if we have to use too many more days, we begin to decrease spring break. I mean, that's our only option at this point. Students here in the Watkins Glen Central School District have enjoyed the past two snow days they've had, but they say it's been brutal waiting for the bus and just going outside in this cold. I feel like I need like five jackets or more, probably. Snow days are pretty nice to have, but I mean, if you have too many, we don't have that much of a break during the spring, so mm -hmm. it's good to sort of have school. Watkins Glen built three snow days into their calendar. They're thinking about using a parent-teacher conference day as a normal school day with Sunday's possible snowfall coming too. The Elmira City School Districts had one snow day and has four built into its calendar. And in Corning Painted Post, they've used one and have six left. I mean, let's be honest, we're in the first week of February. <laughs> um, we are in the Northeast and uh, it's not out of the question to get a snowstorm in late March, early April. So um, we've got a long way to go. And WENY's first warning weather team is tracking the storm, so be sure to keep it locked on WENY TV for the latest closings and cancellations. We'll also have everything posted on our Facebook page and website.